What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Star Wars edition of the Rage Nation show. This is just Webster's. We're talking about all things that matter to me in the world of Star Wars films. This is episode number five, and in this episode, we are going to talk about Han Solo. Everybody's favorite intergalactic scoundrel and smuggler. We're going to talk about Han Solo in this episode. And we're going to talk about a couple of things about him. And the first thing we're going to talk about is his ship. The Millennium Falcon. We have seen the Millennium Falcon in a couple of unofficial shots. Behind the scenes shots rather. While J.J. Uh, J. Abrams has been directing the film. And also we've seen our first official look at the Millennium Falcon at the end of the Star Wars Force Awakens teaser. It was awesome. It was very, very nergasmic. And it made me just... Wow. You know what I'm saying? And now you can see the Millennium Falcon in print form. On the latest issue of Fortune Magazine, where it has the, the Disney CEO, Bob Iger, on the cover. And you can see a really, really detailed shot of the Millennium Falcon. Now, I haven't picked up this magazine, Fortune. Uh, but if you are interested in seeing what uh, Bob Iger has to say about the Star Wars franchise and also um, maybe a little bit about Marvel, make sure you pick up that episode. Now, what, really, what I really want to talk about in this episode is Han Solo and a possible Han Solo prequel spin-off film, okay? Now, there's a rumor that the Gareth Edwards directed Star Wars spin-off film is going to be a Han Solo spin-off movie. And not just a Han Solo spin-off movie, but a young Han Solo spin-off movie. We're going to see the 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 the, the young adventures, uh, the adventures of young Han Solo with Chewbacca. You know, it could be like a prequel story or an origin story about how they both met Chewbacca and Han Solo. Or it could be the adventures of a young Han Solo where, you know, we're, we're watching the continuing episode, I mean, continuing adventures where Han Solo and Chewie are already, you know, smugglers. They're already teamed up together and they're, we're going off checking out their intergalactic adventures. Now, this is just a rumor, okay? We already know that Gareth Edwards was going to direct a Star Wars spin-off film. We also know that uh, Josh Trank is directing a Star Wars spin-off film, but the rumor going on right now is that um, the the, the spin-off film will be a, about a young Han Solo. Now, the big question is who's going to be playing the young Han Solo? I can't think of anybody. If you're talking about casting um, an actor to play such a classic character, it's really, really hard to um, to think of an actor. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it to to the rumors and, and all the speculation to see who should play that character. And it looks like we have our first rumor about who's gonna be playing a young Han Solo, and that would be Aaron Paul. Aaron Paul is most famous for Breaking Bad, as well as his performance and appearance in Need for Speed, okay? This is a pretty interesting choice, okay? Now, everybody loves him from Breaking Bad. I thought that his performance was quite mediocre in Need for Speed, not that it needed to be, considering that the stars of the movie is the cars and the driving. But you know what? I think Aaron Paul could pull it off. I think he's got that attitude. Now, Han Solo is a kind of a badass character. I think that Aaron Paul could pull off a badass character. Now, another thing that makes me um, uh, feel that Aaron Paul is, um, uh, is a good choice, um, not just for Han Solo, but another Star Wars role is because of his whole demeanor, his whole attitude, the way his voice sounds. Doesn't that sound kind of evil to you, the way his voice sounds? I mean, we've not exactly seen him play a good character in Breaking Bad. And he was no, like, he was no, like, angel in Need for Speed. But, I don't know, with the combination of his attitude and his voice, I think he could pull off playing a Sith. You know, the dark side of the Jedi. You know, considering we are watching a, a, a prequel, or rather, the young Han Solo adventures, or rather, spinning off into a, an earlier time in the Star Wars universe, or maybe Old Republic time, who knows? We could be going back to a time where there are Sith, you know what I'm saying? So, I see him playing more as a Sith, or someone in the dark side of the Force, 
rather than playing Han Solo. I think that would be a more appropriate fit. I mean, imagine him with that voice and, 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 and you know, with a little bit of makeup and then putting on a, a, a Sith robe on, colored in black. I think he would play a pretty decent Sith. All right, but anyways, let me know in your comment section. Let me know in the comment section below how you feel about Aaron Paul playing Han Solo along with a young Chewbacca. He's gonna be flying the Millennium Falcon, or maybe he's gonna be flying some other Corellian junker or heap of junk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That could be possible. We never know. This is all a rumor, but this is the first rumor that we know of about the first Star Wars spinoff. Okay, all the hype right now is surrounding Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Well, finally, we're getting something, a little bit of a juicy tidbit about Gareth Edwards' spinoff. And it's pretty juicy because we're de we are dealing with, after all, a very classic character. And I think that a lot of the hardcore fanboys will be against this idea just because, you know, hardcore fanboys, they only want to stick with the originals, all right? They don't want to see anything else other than the originals and they wanted to keep be kept a classic. I, on the other hand, I'm a big fan of Star Wars, but I would love to see more of the Star Wars universe. I want it to keep on expanding. I want to see more films, and it's a it's a very fascinating universe that George Lucas created, and I think it's about time that we saw more of it. Anyways, there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. I also got Instagram. You can follow me at The Rage Nation. I'll see you next time. Peace. J.J. Abrams serve as, as a producer. You know he's able to get his fingerprints all over the movie. Well, I'm sure we're going to see some of that, but we're all gonna, also going to see another